Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show, episode 585. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Ray. What's up, Ray? I'm with the Avengers. <laughs> What's up, Chris? Uh, I guess that means I'm with the Justice League. Well, I'm definitely not with Ice Cube, damn it. <laughs> because that's some effing bullshit there that Ice Cube is going to effing play J. Jonah Jameson in the spectacular Spider-Man Tom Holland's first rebooted Spider-Man movie. Or rumor. Rumor, Chris? Rumor, yeah. Jesus. What kind of shit is that? Honestly. Talk about shit casting. Okay, I like Ice Cube, don't get me wrong. But not for J. Jonah Jameson. He could be Robbie Robertson. Maybe in the reboot, Robbie Robertson runs the bugle. But, you know... I don't understand why he's got to play. Is it because DC made Perry White black? That they got to do that too, Marvel, or what? Like, I don't understand that. Like, I'm just, and again, I'm not racist at all, but give me an effing break now. Like, you're changing the characters, and it's not working. Okay? It didn't work for the Daredevil movie. Okay? And it's definitely not going to work for this movie. Now, yes... Where it did work was Jamie Foxx's Electro, okay, but this is just not cool in my mind. Not not just because he's African American, but because I don't really feel he's a good J. Jonah Jameson. What do you have to say, Ray? I'm going. I'm just basically saying, like I said, um, what I get is that I prefer the from the originally Charles McGuire trilogy. That the Joe Jameson in that was better than anything. And whenever I see Ice Cube, I'm going to laugh because are we there yet? And that that's all I'm going to remind myself of. I mean, if that's the case, why don't we just cast Richard Simmons as the Black Panther? Yeah. Like, or or Jackie Chan as like Thor? Like, I don't understand. Unless, unless um, is it this um, is um, Wolverine? Is Hugh Jackman making his last appearance as Wolverine, and they're going to cast a. I'm African American as the next to Wolverine. I mean, this is like shitty Fantastic Forecasting, if you ask me. Do they want it to fail, or they just, I mean, do they take it seriously? I don't really think so. Mm. Who's casting this, Sony or, or Marvel? Is it Marvel? Should be Marvel. Well, who is it, Chris? What was what the rumor it's say? Marvel. Well, Marvel's pretty much doing it, yeah. Marvel's pretty much That's... effing up. Yeah. Yeah, you want to know why they're effing it up. Because then they, they totally want it. They want Sony to sell it to them. So they would probably sabotage their own shit. That's the only thing I can think of, though. They're, they're, they're the only company that I know of that, you know, they were going to go out of business. They stayed behind Disney buy them. But before that happened, they sold the right movie rights to all these places. And then they got grimy that they wanted it back, so they started killing off everybody. Wolverine, Deadpool, I mean, X-Men made them into shambles. They didn't want to make any X-Men action figures for the movies because they owned the toy, you know, the toy industry thing with the figure lot company. So, like, why you got to be a bunch of grimy little bitches? Like, why, why you know, I, mean, I honestly think it's sabotage if Marvel's doing that. I honestly think that so they're trying to sabotage Sony. If they, I mean, I'm not getting like crazy radical here, but the idea of Spider-Man being 15 is really not appealing to me. Dang. Especially during Civil War. I, I, I don't think you guys have to worry. Trust me, I don't think. You oh, have hi, to. Sally. Um, hi, Sally. What's up, Sally? Uh, the reason I say that is because Bloody Disgusting put out an article that basically debunked this rumor. Um, that Ice Cube is not up for the part that uh, they got this from an inside source at Disney, at Marvel, God. that Ice Cube has never been up for the part. This was a rumor that came out. So I really don't think that this is anything that has any water, and I don't think it, it's going to happen. I'm pretty Good. sure that... that you now, know, now we get into something happen. else that bothers me about the Spider-Man movie. Why can't we have a villain that's established? Why... Is there actually discussions being made about a brand new villain created? Who, don't know. Who would you like back? 
I want Mysterio. I mean, I want um, Scorpion. I want Shocker. I want. Uh, I eventually want when the time is established. I want a good Green Goblin. I want a good Hobgoblin. I want. You know, there's so many different villains they could choose from. Craven the Hunter. Um, you know, they don't have to like limit themselves to let's do Green Goblin, let's do Green Goblin, let's do Green Goblin. He's got hundreds. Hundreds of villains to choose from. I mean, it's not a problem. You wouldn't have to create a new villain. What's up, what's up Sally? What's that? Sally, do you want them to just create a Spider Man villain? Like make a whole new villain? Yeah. In the comics? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, if they do it well, then yeah, I don't mind them doing it. I mean, if it's done right. well. If it's done well, okay. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing some but something new. But yeah. On the other hand, if they do it really bad, you're going to have years of just saying people saying no, we're not, we don't want that anymore because of what happened. But would you do it for a first Spider-Man movie, a brand new villain for Probably a not. first reboot? Like not for the first one, no. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know. I don't want to see him fighting Stilt Man or anything like especially, that. Especially especially Spider Man that we haven't met yet. I mean yeah. Yeah, so. you know. Would you like Doc Ock back? Yes. But I would like our Doc Ock back. Alfred yeah. um what's how you say his last name? Molina? Alfred Molina, yep. Yeah, Alfred yeah. Molina from I like Spider-Man him too. Yeah. Oh. Because I I think that was the most perfect. I mean, there was no real other real rendition in the movies, but I think it was the best to me. I really enjoyed that in some ways better than the first Spider-Man movie. I enjoyed it a lot better than three. <laughs> so, Sally, would you accept Ice Cube as J. Jonah Jameson? No. Okay. Why? I, honestly, I don't think he'd be, you know, that good. Thank you. He's more, he's more Tommy. like, yeah, people would know more for like, you know, uh, Ball and Order and all that right. stuff. They're not going to see him as. See, J.J. and James is nasty. Yeah. But he's funny because he's nasty. Not that he's trying mm-hmm. to be funny. You know, I see Definitely. him as the, the mentor in 21 Jump Street, 22 Jump Street, all this stuff, like he's trying to be serious, but like, whatever, but not J. Jonah Jameson, no. And I, I, I love Marissa Tomei, but I don't think of Aunt May when I think of Marissa Tomei. I mean, I love Marissa Tomei. I think she, she's young, man. She's going to be Aunt May. That's going to be like, uh, you know, the most amazing looking Aunt May in history. It's like... And Uncle Ben not being a part of it, that's a bit stupid, because his death was a part of it. Big of I mean, they're probably going to talk about it. Yeah, they're not going to talk about it. You know, the only reason I don't think he'd be in it, Ray, is because they're not doing an origin story. They're, yeah. they're, they're skipping it. So, yeah. that it makes sense why he wouldn't be in it. But, again, I don't think we're going to have much to worry about the Spider-Man. It's actually going to be really good. I think that... that you know, they have a reason for going younger. I, I Marissa Tomei, and uh, you know, I don't know. We gotta wait and see. But um, I, I don't think there's gonna be much to worry about. I think this time they know they've got to get it right. And with it being horrible, I think Sony just stays out of it a little bit. We'll we'll get a we'll get a movie that's probably just as good or better than Ant Man. I think we might, this might be the best Spider-Man movie we've ever seen. You know, might be. Yeah. All right. I, I, Chris, I know, I don't know if you want to talk about it now, but that Star Wars thing. I'm okay to talk about it. I don't, I'm not really going to go on a rant. Like I said, I was going to, I, you know, I just want to say my piece about it and just, you know, why don't you, why don't you inform everybody in the cast on what was going on behind the scenes we were talking about? So basically, this this isn't happening in the movie. It's not something that's 
just happening in the Star Wars universe, but it was just a quote way that I, I, you know, he can say whatever he wants. We can all say whatever we want. But I think this idea is becoming something that could ruin Chris, movies or anything. But you're, you're, you're Chris, on a slippery slope Chris, with this. Your audio is like yeah. totally out. Oh, really? like, we're not hearing anything you're saying. Yeah. It's coming through like mumbo jumbo. Maybe it's a Zoom? Is that better? No. It's like, I, 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 I better? No. This freaking, what is it today? This team, okay. Uh, all right, so try again. If it doesn't work, I'll tell you. Go ahead. I'm not hearing you at all. I think his mic's completely packed up. Yeah? Mm. Holy moly. I right. to take it anyway. Until, until he gets his mic fixed. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the audio. Maybe it's my he's, Zoom. I don't know. Uh, he's doubled up. He's doubled up. There's two of them. Chris? Just like Google. Chris? Oh, yep. no. Uh-oh. Hello? Just like Google, he's doubled up and there's no response. Oh, no. Okay. Chris? <laughs> One's left. Something's <laughs> totally not true. No. Nothing. No. They say all mumbo jumbo, mate. Okay, while he's trying to fix that, what do you guys think of Tomb Raider reboot with Maggie from Walking Dead as the lead? Oh. I, I think that'd be all right. That'd that would be a problem. Cool. That. Right? That wouldn't be a problem yeah. that. That's what they're trying to get. They're trying to get her. And I'm not being rude. I know this is going to sound a bit stupid, but Lara Croft is British, so Maggie's British, so... Yeah, well, the sense. actress... Makes more right. sense. Makes you more sense. forget that. <laughs> yeah, the actress, the actress that plays Maggie... Um, let me get her name... I forget, I forget that they're British, and then when they go in, like, The Talking Dead, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, she didn't sound British the last time. Oh, did she not? She no. Was, she was not really, I guess she's been talking so much normal that it's like, she's talking like Maggie in a way. You know? he's, like, he's like Andrew Lincoln. He's a British, but. But he finally like talks British when he's not doing Rick. Yeah. Yeah. She was, she was basically not. So I don't know. I, I, I think she would be fabulous as Laura Croft. You know. Yeah. I think she would I be amazing. So. You guys hear that uh, Assassin's Creed? Can that be a uh, sequel to that? Well, we didn't get the first one yet. Oh, they're already doing a sequel? They're, they're already going to plan a sequel. Well, they're already confident that it's going to do that well, that they're, doing a, that they're planning a sequel. Yes. That's some confidence. They must really have confidence in that. Yeah. Now another thing is uh, Sylvester. And I'm Chris Wall. is back. Chris, you there? Yeah, I think he's packed up. Chris. Oh dear God. Uh -oh. What is happening? <laughs> what, what is, is happening? happening? <laughs> All right. So there's word that Sylvester Stallone is in Guardians of the Galaxy two. Oh. Yeah, I've seen that. Now, who oh, is going to be uh, Star-Lord's father? Is it going to be Sylvester Stallone? Or is it going to be Kurt Russell? No, it's Kurt Russell. It's been confirmed that Kurt Russell is Star-Lord's dad. So then what is he doing in there? Unless he's playing the new group. Chris, you there? I don't know, am I? Yes, now yes, you Yes, we hear okay. you. All right, Chris, I was just rambling some stories from Laura Croft and, you know, all these yeah. things. Sylvester Stallone and Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, so, well, first of all, what do you think of Laura Croft being, you know, the actress that plays Maggie? Sure, if they do it right, that works. And what do you think of Sylvester Stallone and Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm all for it, depending on whoever he's playing. Right. All right, so now let's get to this story that you want to okay, talk about. Okay, so quickly, before I cut out for some reason, um... Basically, someone asked Mark Hamill if it would be okay if Luke Skywalker was gay. Oh, God. 
And he said, you know, he wouldn't mind it. Luke can be whatever you want and whatnot. And I was thinking he actually kind of can because it's a fictional character, so they can do whatever they want. The question, though, is, is it a good idea to turn already existing characters who we pretty much know are not gay uh, homosexual? No. Like, well, no, no, it's, it's not. not. It's not. Because I, I, this is my thing. As soon as they said that, I was like, Luke's already expressed interest in women before. So, yeah. And my, most my, bisexual, but... My know. thing is this, right? I think everybody in this society is afraid to say what they have to say, okay? Because mm. everybody will take it as something else. You can't even joke with people. You can't even say one thing. They get off on a tangent. They unfriend you, whatever. Luke Skywalker likes women. He's not gay. No. He was married, I guess, in the, in the, in the books and had kids, right? I mean... Yeah. That's one know. character that you would have never thought in a million years would be gay. Hmm. He's not a gay character. He never was born gay. He was never created gay. Now, and that, that's the thing. Is people, people who are like defending this, and again, this isn't something that's going to happen in the movies. Right. It's not going to happen in books. It's, it, it's never going to be addressed, which I think is a good thing. But it, to me, personally, and I, I've seen a lot of other comments of people saying this, it's it's quite obvious that when they wrote the character, they did not write him homosexual. Correct. They right. wrote him heterosexual. That Correct. Was it. Now, mm. would this ruin Star Wars? No, it wouldn't. Would right. the would a, would a lot of people reject this? Yes. Yes. Uh, not because not because they would make him homosexual, but just because you're fundamentally changing a character that's been around since the seventies. And th this is another thing is an issue with, with changing the race of characters, changing the sexuality of characters and changing the gender of characters. It's not helping those causes. If you want homosexual characters, make new characters. They've been doing that in the books and it's been working great. You want to have a homosexual character? We don't know Ray's sexual preference. There you go. We don't know uh -huh. Kylo Ren. We don't know Poe Dameron. Finn you can't do because he expressed romantic feelings for Ray. So that's out the window. Right. But there are so many other ways you could go about this. Why do you have to say, oh, we're going to just turn that character homosexual just, just because? I, I, mean, I was not a fan when they did that with Iceman. I you. mean, Iceman, the, 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 uh, the whole thing was is that when he was in an, the X-Men team, he was like 13. So at age 13, back in the 60s, they didn't think of women like a 13-year-old boy. They thought they were kids. So, and then when he did get of age, he was dating every damn girl in the book. He yeah. had more dates than probably I did. Like, <laughs> so, like, to make it like people are questioning if he's gay or people that are probably gay themselves that are questioning, well, what if? Because my whole thing is that I, I don't never questioned it. And half the people didn't question it. Some, somebody brings up a thing to stir up a topic to make it valid enough to create that topic. That's what I felt. I mean, I don't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to say this. I don't know being rude. If Ray is Luke's daughter, then how does that even work that he's gay? Right. Right. Well, that's the thing. They're, not, they're not ever going to address this in the movie. So it's, it's, gonna, it's a non it's a non issue. It's a non fact. I don't even know why they make it Poe Dameron and, and Finn are gay. I mean, they do it like a thing. That's why can't they be friends? Well, like thank your you. friends in this world that a guy could be friends with. I mean, hello, it's been going on for centuries. People are just fucking friends. Excuse and, me. And, and, uh, like I said before, Finn already expressed that he had feelings for Ray. It and Ray looked like she was upset about Finn, too, not helping her out and whatever. I mean, it's like, come on. There's so, so yeah. many other ways to work around that. I mean... And it's nothing it's against the gay community, nothing against oh. the race, but just create a character then. Yeah. They already had like like I'll tell you in Lords of the Sith, they had they had an openly gay female character whose wife died, and she was a great character. Right. There's, in aftermath, there's an there's a there's an openly gay um, male character who's a great character. So it's not like I'm saying ban all you know homosexual characters. Right. 
I'm just saying, why are you just going to start saying, oh, these characters are gay? Why? Well, just because. See, that's you're, not not helping, you're not helping that cause at all. No. If you do that, at all. That's not, it's, it's, I, I think the problem is, is that there are not enough gay characters and not enough African-American superheroes or whatever, at, or villains. And they just feel all of a sudden a moral responsibility, like Marvel Comics, to put people's names on a, on a wheel with other names, spin it. I'm like, okay, Hulk Asian, Thor woman. It's like... <laughs> Captain America, African American. Like, like, like well, at the same time, not just like what I mean, like, and I think the problem is, I think that fans are rebelling mm. because they're like, this is bullshit. Like, how do you get rid of everybody's favorite characters and replace them with all different ones at the same time? And of course, Steve Rogers is coming at, back as Captain America because people hated it. Mm. Of course, the other things are going to change because people don't like it. Maybe one thing will stick, but. You know, the whole thing with Thor, right? Just because Jane Foster is Thor's girlfriend or was his girlfriend doesn't make her worthy to have the hammer. Why? Because she chose him and he's worthy, so she's worthy? Like, I don't I don't understand how, you know, it, he was friends with tons of people, Thor, and they weren't worthy. You know, I, Captain America did have the hammer, you know, but there were some people that didn't have the hammer. But, like, I really don't understand for the life of me why it would be so easy, you know, Thor and then Thor's girlfriend, ha Thor ex girlfriend, whatever has the hammer. I mean, I don't understand why she would have the hammer. Like, what is they proving that she's so worthy that she would have the hammer all of a sudden? I know, and then they try to do a Captain Marvel uh, has cancer, die type of thing with and repeat it, which is not really original, mind you. Um, and they try to make it like that's original. It's not. It's done already. So when they try to redo that, that pisses me off. So I don't know. I mean, what what are they gonna do next? Are, are, is is Wonder Woman gonna become a man? Is gonna be Wonder Man? Well, DC's next? not gonna do that. But what did DC do? DC made um, Commissioner Gordon a uh, a chappy like Batman. Yeah. And they yeah. made and they made Joker like Wolverine, where he heals. And they made Bruce Wayne immortal too now. And then he was like Perry. a god too, like or something. And Perry White was uh, became black, didn't he? In the movies, and then uh, Punish, and then um, Superman was like the Punisher, driving a motorcycle, all rugged and punching like a bruiser, and all right, he didn't have guns, but it's like, are you kidding? Nobody, I don't want to read that. So when you make the characters unrecognizable, it's like that's it. I understand you got to do to make it fresh, right? You know, Peter Parker being rich, that's fresh because you know what? It doesn't make sense that he's a genius and he can't make money from it. So it is believable that he wouldn't always be a photographer. He wouldn't always work for the Bugle. I mean, they've been involving him for 20, 30 years already. I've seen it where he graduated college. You know, well, no, actually, he didn't graduate college, but Doc Ock finished his grades at Body Swap. But he did, he was a teacher. You know, he, he was a teacher in Midtown School. And it, I mean, he was, a, you know, and different, he evolved. So, of course, it would be believable that eventually, because he's a genius, he would make money off of it. I didn't think that he was going to be so rich that he's richer than Tony Stark's company, which I think that's a little far-fetched. But And Tony Stark almost being broke, that's weird. But um, that's different, and it's exciting. you know. But this other stuff about you know this kid is like the Hulk, it's like a Shazam thing. This Chinese kid's a Hulk, and it's like, okay. Yeah, it's like, it's like you were saying about Loki, him in the same place in the, the all three of him. Yeah, they had the Loki from the past, president, and future in the same universe at the same time in the Marvel Universe. Then they also make a Loki president. And that's stupid, too, because, you know, even if you were making it a semblance believable, he's not a resident of or living or born in the United States. It's like stupid, you know? I don't know why they do these things. I just, eventually, there's going to be fallout with the comics where people are going to be like, no. And I honestly feel that this is the dark age of comics right now. Because there's too many characters getting wrecked. And, uh, and if you know it, it's all the people's favorite characters. Yeah, nobody gave a shit that Marvel killed Deadpool. They knew that was bullshit. Mm. 
Now Marvel's like, oh, all right, because we have to bring them back because they're doing so well. So let's capitalize it. Let's get, we know that they're going to make a Gambit movie. And we know that, you know, there's going to be a Deadpool 2. So let's make Deadpool versus uh, Gambit, which is really stupid. Because they're be a, a bunch of hypocrites. And a Peter Parker clone. It's all stupid. It's just, I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you have to say, Ray? I mean, in general. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sorry for my language here, but I think it's just all fucked up. I think so too. Yeah. I'm just, it's just like, it's just, it's just, it's just to a point where people are going to just be like, I can't take this anymore and we're not going to buy the comics and stuff until they get their act together. And then there's going to be petitions online to say, sort it all out. And then they're going to get their sales decreasing and the money's not going to come in. And they're going to be like, let's all sort our shit together. We're already seeing it. Steve Rogers is coming back. What does that mean? What do you say, Chris? I just, you know, I, again, I think there's room to make new characters, and instead of, you know, completely redoing characters and completely just, you know, saying things about them that we know aren't true, but they're just going to do it anyway, just for no reason, to me, it's just lazy. It's very lazy to me, you know? Look at Tommy Fallon. Tommy Fallon, Al Simmons was black. Was black. He was Spawn. He created new characters. Yeah. All right, it's under his comic book company, but is it? are these people afraid to create new characters in Marvel because they know that Marvel will own them and they won't have a share in it? Is that what it is, maybe? Because I'm hearing that, too. I'm hearing that a lot of the writers in Marvel, nobody's creating new characters because they don't want Marvel to make the money from it. They want to be able to make money from it. So nobody's creating anything. They're just using what they have, which is terrible. You've got to freshen it up a little bit. You've got to make it fresh. You've got to create new characters all the time. I'd take a chance and just create something new. I, I wouldn't care if Marvel wanted to own it. I'd just say to him, well, if you want to use it, then you've got to give me some kind of money back. Right. What about you, Sally? No, oh, I totally agree. I mean, if you're going to just change everything to where it's just ridiculous and unrecognizable, and people will get upset. And, you know, you got to do something new. But nobody's doing it. Like you I'm, you know, like Dr. Doom being looking like he's 20 years old supermodel. Like, what the hell is that? Tony Stark being poor and Aunt Mary Jane working for him. Why is she with him? Like, this is like stupid stuff. Like, honestly. And it's just, I, I, I'm done with it. Why? It's like, I still get Spider-Man, but I'm just, I, I got one issue of Iron Man and one issue with Doctor Strange and one of you. It's like, but why am I getting it? It's, it's like, I'm not enjoying it. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't agree with that whole Axis storyline where Iron Man became evil because of some spell or some crap. I mean, that's just, you know, you have a mass murderer like Carnage becomes good because of a spell or something. And then I think even Hobcobbin became good, but then superiors became evil. That's just stupid. You know. Nobody wants to see their hero killing people or, or manipulating people or cheating people, you know? So I think Marvel has to regroup, honestly, and get their crap together because there's gonna, they're going to find in a couple of months that their sales are tanking. And they're going to be like, why is it tanking? You know, maybe. You don't need a Civil War II, first of all. That's another thing. They create – they have this – if someone that uh, comes to the Marvel Universe that could see the future, well, how many mutants could see the damn future? How, ma how many superheroes could see the future? How is this a revolutionary thing? And what they're doing is they're doing a minority report, but for the Marvel Universe, where this person's going to see who's going to commit crimes, and one superhero wants to use this guy to go after the people before they commit the crimes, and so the superhero doesn't, and then they have a whole civil war where everybody bends against split because of that that's just dumb you don't have civil war two when civil war comes out that's that's just stupid i mean they already tried to bring back civil war with these secret wars and it didn't work either so why is it gonna work now i i, I think they just need to do, create some original stuff i mean do, i i seen covers which annoys me right one of the biggest storylines of Spider-Man was when he gave up the suit, right? He threw it in the trash can. Yeah. Spider-Man no more. How many times do they have to repeat that? 
All right. Why does Spider Gwen have to do that? Because she's like a Spider Man universe. Like, what? What? Why? Why do they have to constantly copy of other people's stuff? Why can't they create something freaking original? Like, are we gonna get it because of the cover is cool with Spider with Gwen Stacy throwing the Spider Gwen suit out or whatever? That's stupid. I mean, I want some original content in the, in the comics. It's just recycling old crap now. It's like a joke. You know? Yeah. Well, do you know there was that storyline that um, Peter Parker um, um, gave up his life or something to save a 100-year-old Aunt May or something? He, he, sold, he basically made a deal with the devil, Miss Fisto. That was terrible. That was not what Peter Parker does. He gave up his marriage for 21 years to Mary Jane. So he can make a 99-year-old Aunt May live for, what, a week? I mean, or whatever it was, like, I guess, I mean, I understand that she was like a mother to him, but that Spider-Man wouldn't, like, commit crimes or team up with villains to do that. He wouldn't. You know, we, there's a sense of responsibility that me and someone else disagrees with, but, um, and that's not what he would do. You know, regardless if he loved the crap out of them, and that was this whole world anime, he wouldn't like. Basically, he's not above everybody. He's not because he's Spider Man. He never sees himself as an ego, like like the universe owes me or something. You know, like or the world owes me a, a second chance. He doesn't do stuff like that. So you know, that thing is. I don't even know if that's still. You know, I'm so confused with what's happening in the comic books that whatever. But on that note, we, we do got seven minutes left. Uh, Luke Skywalker is not gay. Ho down, as far as I know, with Finn are not gay. I just stop it already with the nonsense. I mean, create new characters, like Chris said. Um, what else did it, now? Who is going to be Star Lord's father? Is it going to be Kurt Russell? Or is it going to be yeah, Star it's, Stallone? It was pretty sure Kurt Russell. Yeah. yeah, it's confirmed Kurt Russell. I think, mean, I, I, unless I'm sort of said Sloan has something to do with Rocket Raccoon or something. That is, he's a um, scientist person or something. Oh, he's going to be the scientist maybe that creates... Be. Yeah. That would be pretty funny, actually. Um, mm. We also have word about Bad Boys 3. Now... Um, <laughs> I'm just I, laughing at that. Why Will Smith... I'm not yeah. being with wife. Why Will Smith could turn down every single role just to do Bad Boys 3? Well, he didn't turn every down every role, to, turn, to he, but he did start to say, hey, wait a minute. I don't have that much franchises left. Mm. So let me say yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Chris? It's Bad Boys. Yeah, I really don't care to tell you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Um, what about this rated R version of Superman vs. Batman? Um, I, I'd be very surprised if it was actually rated R material in there. I think that they jumped on the Deadpool bandwagon. They were like, well, we've got deleted scenes. Let's just say it's rated R. Like, I, I was joking around. I'm like, I'm like, here is the regular version. Do you bleed? You will. And then the rated R version. Do you bleed? You will. Asshole. It's, it's like... It's, <laughs> Yeah. It's like, <laughs> who are you? Who are yeah. you? Normal version. I'm Batman. Who are you? I'm Batman, motherfucker. Yeah, it's basically. I mean, it's like <laughs> it's originally going to be too. I, I'm gonna piss myself when I see this. Like honestly, where, where you going? Where you going, Bruce? I'm going to see some hookers. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, is the is the tub scene with with like Wonder Woman and and Batman? Oh wait, it's rated now because it's. I mean, what the hell is that? When they talk, when they talk that Marvel. Uh, like, there's no not. point to that. Why are we seeing that? Mm. Why are they doing that? Oh, God. they talk that. They talk now that um, well, we movie ain't gonna be all rated in that now, isn't it? Oh, it's not. No, they told you it's not going to happen now. That's well, there was another article that said Marvel. They said we're never doing R-rated movies. Oh, Joe, but, but that's yeah. not Marvel. That's 20th Century Fox. No, no, no. I mean, regular Marvel said they're never the doing comic R-rated. Marvel. They're full of crap. Oh, they're full, let me tell you something. They're full of crap. When the time comes, I would do it. R-rated. They are. They are. Then when the time comes, they will. Look at them joking around about Ant Man. They're like, yeah, it's going to be NC seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, man. So, 
Anywho, what else do we have to talk about? Looks like uh, Neil Gaiman is getting part of his Sandman franchise, but in the films, huh? Oh. Yeah, uh, did you hear that Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt left that project? Yeah, why did he leave? I don't know. He, it said he left Sandman, though. Yeah, that's Right when he got like, ready to go, he left. Well, I mean, I don't know why he was with him in the first place, but... Uh, is Nick Cage doing a third National Treasure? I heard it might happen. I think he needs a franchise, right? Put him yeah. in the Marvel Universe somewhere, or DC. Oh. No, 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 don't do that. They might cast him as Superman. That's okay. He's good. He could play somebody in DC. He totally could, yeah. He could play, I mean, it's not to be a super, I mean, you know, he could play somebody cool. He could be a super villain. Yeah. Yeah. Go, make him Brainiac. Oh, yeah. That would be hilarious. Make him Mephisto. Mm. Oh, right? Because yeah. he's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> so are they going to make Loki's character, Mephisto's character in the Infinity War? Because in Infinity Gauntlet, it was Mephisto and Thanos. Remember that? Mm. And Mephisto wanted the Gauntlet too, and he was trying to manipulate stuff. Remember that? I, they might do something like that. So instead of Misfisto, it's going to be... Well, who has the rights to Misfisto? Do we know? Uh, I don't know. Marvel? I think... Was it Fantastic Four? I mean, we don't know. What are they doing? Well, I know that in the first Ghost Rider movie, they used Mephistopheles. I don't know if that's... Yeah, they could. Uh, they I mean, could that's, another ver- that's a word, another word. Well, maybe they don't have the rights then. Because they don't have Ghost Rider, right? Not anymore, I don't think. Marvel don't have Ghost Rider. 20th Century yeah, does. Right? I don't know who. I think Ghost Rider went back to Marvel. Did he? I think. I remember. We might have I reported remember, that. I think. I, yeah, I remember hearing him and like and Blade and a couple others went back. I to think. Marvel. I think we reported that. Yeah. Like last year or whatever it was. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Well, Miss Fisto should be Marvel. I think, but I don't think they want to handle that. You know, not. I mean, now we're handling the mystical plane, but they don't want to handle the. You know, they didn't even explain what Mr. Stowe actually was. Was he an alien? Was he like demon? Was he like I don't know. Whatever. All right, guys. So on that note, we're out. We're out. So take care. Bye for now.